name is Marta Lamberton, and I am the Parent Council Chair and the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony Board of Directors. I have a passion for the arts, and I'm a firm believer in paying it forward. I have two daughters, Katie and Christy, who were both violinists in various groups for over 10 years, starting with Little Mozart. As a parent, I have personally witnessed the life skills that the organization teaches our young people. In addition to a challenging music curriculum that teaches discipline and the value of hard work, I've seen my own daughters embody teamwork and most importantly, personal responsibility. Whenever there was an issue or a problem, they were taught to go to solution rather than passing the issue to someone else to solve. These are lifelong skills that they will use in their academic, professional, and personal lives. Over the span of 10 years, I watched my girls and their friends develop their music skills and learn to work together towards one common goal. After every concert, I observed excitement for achieving a goal they've worked for weeks to perfect and the pride of a job well done. Bringing unity is so important in our society today, and I'm a firm believer that through music, we are one. Hello, my name is Lydia McConkie. I'm currently the concertmaster of the Youth Symphony Ensemble and would love to share with you my experience with this organization. I grew up with a school that did not have an orchestra. And in general, growing up, learning classical music was very isolating. It's not something that my peers understood or really respected, and it was really lonely. I joined the Youth Symphony when I was just eight years old. Um, and joining that group was so inspiring for me. I became surrounded with people like me, people that appreciated music and had a passion for it. And that wasn't something that I experienced before. And being around that really opened my eyes to how fun music can be and the community that can come with it. I don't know that I would still be doing music today if it weren't for that. And I'm so grateful for that. On top of the community and lifelong friends that the Youth Symphony has given me, I have had incredible opportunities to not only work with professional musicians and conductors on side-by-side -side concerts, but also travel all around the world and experience music in different cultures. And I'm so grateful. I know I speak for all the musicians in the orchestra. I'm so grateful for the community. Um, and the opportunities and everything that the, this organization has given us because we feel seen and we are able to grow our passions together. And that's so unique to find something, especially for classical music, for kids to feel seen in that. And I'm so grateful for that. Hi, my name is Paula and I am the parent of Kaylin, one of the singers in the Colorado Springs Children's Chorale. We enrolled Kaylin in chorale when she was in third grade and at the time we were looking to support her passion for music while also challenging her abilities as a singer. And looking back, I think our decision to join the CSCC has been very rewarding. The benefits Kaylin has received from being part of Chorale have only grown over the years, uh, extending beyond music theory and education to also instilling the values of teamwork and dedication um, and certainly discipline. As a city choir, the members of Chorale dedicate so many hours to rehearsals, performances, and also community outreach programs. This commitment has influenced Kaylin in so many positive ways outside of Chorale. For example, she is also a member of her middle school's select choir, recently performing at CMEA and also participating in Allstate Choir in Denver. Uh, additionally, Kaylin plays piano and violin earning a spot in district orchestra this year. She is also an excellent student and a member of her student council. And I say all of this, you know, not just to brag on my kid, which I am so happy to do, um, but also to recognize, you know, the part that CCC has played in fostering that discipline and drive for her to excel in many different areas. Uh, lastly, I think if those points weren't enough, one of the most rewarding aspects of Kaylin's involvement with Corral has been the friendship she has formed here. The kids in Corral refer to it as their second family. And this is so much more than just a label as I've come to know over the years. It's a group of young people 
who are incredibly supportive and empathetic toward one another. They have so much fun together, but also know when it's time to focus on whatever their current project is. It's very rewarding to see how much work they put into a performance as a team and then see that look of accomplishment on their faces when they walk off the stage together. And if we were to get nothing else out of this experience as a family, I would be absolutely grateful just for that aspect of it all. And Hi, and good morning. My name is Frankie Leo Bennett. I am a Chicago-based theater artist, director, actor, writer, producer. I do a little bit of a lot and I think I do a decent job with it, but I am also a Colorado Springs native and a very proud alum of the Colorado Springs Children's Chorale. I cannot believe that my nine year journey with the Children's Chorale began 22 years ago. But that same year, my life also changed pretty dramatically. For myriad reasons, my grandmother also became my adoptive mother. And not just to me, but to six of my siblings and cousins. Taking on that responsibility was no small or easy feat, and honestly, money became tight. But my mom wanted to make that opportunity work, and work it did. The Children's Chorale became a second family to me, and provided me not only a creative outlet, but compassionately understood my situation and provided a home. Nine years of opportunity, acceptance, encouragement, and I am of course extremely grateful for the musical education they provided, and getting to perform at Carnegie Hall in high school was pretty cool, but I am extremely grateful for the skills that they also taught me, including empathy and discipline and commitment. I then understood what the word community meant, a group of people who inspire you and challenge you and encourage you to be the best that you can be. Without this community, I wouldn't be the artist I am today and I wouldn't be the human I am today either. Thank you for taking the time this morning to support these incredible organizations that are represented here today. You are truly the support system that makes these incredible groups not only survive, but thrive.